Hey everyone, Jessica here with Crochet It Creations, and today we're going to work on my dog sweater crochet pattern. This is an older design that's been available on crochetitcreations.com in my Etsy shop, and I have been wanting to put a video out for this. So we're going to work the size small. Materials needed are an eye crochet hook and some worsted weight yarn. I'm using Big Twist found at Joann's. So we're going to start out with making a slip knot and doing a foundation row of half double crochet stitches. If you are not familiar with the foundation row, you can go click the link that's in the stitches used section and learn how to make this stitch. Or you can simply replace it by um, chaining to the number of stitches needed for the size that you're working plus one. So we are working the small, which does have 40 foundation half double crochet stitches. So as you can see here, I'm working my half double crochet stitches. I do like this technique because it gives it a little bit of stretch makes the work a little more seamless. You can't tell that it started out um, right here at the bottom and does let, um, a little more stretch than what a chain would. Plus it uh, saves from having to count so many small chains. So continue working for the size small, 40 foundation half double crochet stitches. If you're working any other size, go take a uh, peek at the pattern. It does come in extra, extra small, which fits a uh, two to five pound dog or animal, and then goes up to the size extra large. And also it does start at the bottom. So this pattern has worked from the bottom up. We are working the flap right now that goes over the dog's uh, back area. All right, so now that we have finished our 40 stitches of the foundation half double crochet, we're gonna move on to row two, which is chain one, half double crochet in this first stitch. And then we're gonna do a front post half double crochet in the next stitch. So that's where you're working around the stitch instead of in the top of it. Next stitch is a back post half double crochet, front post, half double crochet, back post, half double crochet. So we're gonna work this uh, technique all the way across, repeating front post, half double crochet, back post, half double crochet. And again, this is worked around the stitch and not into the top of the stitch. So it gives it this nice uh, textured technique, as you can see, and it does have like a little bit of stretch to it. Um, so continue to work this all the way across, repeating front post, back post, um, half double crochet.
So we're coming to the very end and looking back on this row, I realize now where I made the error. So it should end with a back post, half double crochet, and then a half double crochet in that last stitch. Somehow mine ended with a front post and that is wrong. Um, and it also looks like I skipped over a stitch there. So once I get to the end of this, I realized that I had not the correct stitch count. So um, continue to work the pattern as described in the instructions, half double crochet in the first stitch. Um, for the size small, we're working rows two through 10, which is half double crochet in the first stitch, front post half double crochet in the next, back, pro back post half double crochet in the following, repeat those post stitches all the way across. So as you can see, somehow I messed up though and I had skipped over stitches. So typically I count my stitches as I'm going, but when I am recording videos, it is definitely harder to count as I go. And I realized once I got to the end, I had messed up somewhere and I'll show you how I fix that without taking everything out. So continue to work these rows two through 10, repeating front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet, um, and then a half double crochet stitch in the last and first stitches. So keep working this for 10 rows, being 40 stitches across. So count your stitches as you go. So now we are finished with uh, the 10 rows of the flap that goes over the dog's bottom area. We're going to continue to work in the round now. So at the end of the last uh, row, it says to loosely chain 24. This is for the um, size small. So chain your 24. And then we're going to slip stitch to the first stitch of the last round. This is where I get a lot of questions and I do see where the pattern should probably like specify like this is the bottom part working flat. This is where we start working in the round for the body of the sweater. I can see where I get a lot of questions and I do plan on updating that. So 24 chain slip stitch to the first stitch of that last round. This creates a circle and now we are working in the round. So this is going to be the body of the dog sweater. Chain one, half double crochet across or around. So just regular half double crochet stitches. We are working all the way around. So continue to do this. As you can see, I am working each um, half double crochet across the chain 
in the back. So half double crochet across each chain um, to create this round um, body of the sweater. I do plan on taking the pattern and kind of breaking it apart to show like this is the flat portion. This is working in the round, even though it does um, switch from rows to rounds. It is kind of hard to pick up if you've never worked the pattern before. So thankfully, this right here is where I realize I am two stitches off. And that's because I messed up the panel. It should end with 64 stitches because the 40 plus 24, I went back and counted my stitches and I was two off. Um, so thankfully I did stop and count here and not continue to work the pattern without it. And this is where you can see I'm like, um, what happened? Because that's 38 and it should be 40. So I'll show you how I correct it. Well, I thought I showed it on camera, but I didn't. So sorry, I'm doing a voiceover afterwards. So I actually just took and did an increased stitch in the, um, first and last part of the chain. So basically I added two stitches into one chain at the very end and the very beginning of the chain. And this gave me my 64 stitches just like I needed. So if I would have continued to work the pattern with two stitches less, it obviously would have came out smaller. It wouldn't have matched up with what the pattern says. So thankfully it was only on the flap which is really not that big of a deal if it's two stitches off because it's just going over the dog's bottom and I don't need it to fit around the dog's body. So I did increase two stitches in the beginning of the chain and the end of the chain um, to get my 64. And now I am just half double crocheting all the way around. As the pattern states, we are doing this until round 23. So continue to work your half double crochet stitches around joining um, at the end. As you notice, when I join, you are slip stitching to the top of the first stitch. So it skips over the chain one. And I always like to take my uh, slip stitch and pull it a little bit tighter. That way it doesn't leave a gap there and you can't really see it. So if you watch my hands at the very end, when I join, I'm slip stitching to the top of the first half double crochet stitch and then pulling that slip stitch tight. And I'll leave it um, at this speed. I won't speed it up when I get to the end here so that you can see how I join. So again, we are working half double crochet, crochet stitches around for the size small. You can see where I pointed out there my increase um, and for 64 stitches around until we get to round 23. If you are wanting the written instructions for your dog size, go check it out on crochetcreations.com or Crochet at Creations um, US Etsy shop. So it is available there to purchase the PDF for, I think it's around $4. So keep working half double crochet stitches around. And then let me show you how I join and pull that slip, sti slip stitch tight. So right there, join to the top of the first stitch. And then I take and I give it a little tug so that it's not creating a gap. All right, continue to work for your 23 rows.
All right, so we have finished our 23 rows. I took a peek, and this is the bottom side of the sweater we're looking at here. Since I am not in the center, so some of the sweater sizes you may end up in the center. You could see that the join is kind of moving towards the right. Since I'm not in the center, we want to find the center. So this is for round 24. We've got 64 stitches. We're going to take and divide that in half to make 32 stitches. So there's 32 on the bottom side, 32 on the um, top side. So we're looking at the bottom side. So count over. So divide the 32 in half, which gives us 16. Count over 16 stitches. And on that 17th stitch, we're going to take and slip stitch right here and join. All right, so it'll probably make it a little easier if you use a stitch marker and mark that 17 stitch over from the end or if you're working a different size than whatever it says on the pattern. And then go ahead and join with a slip stitch and chain one. So this is round 24 for the size small. It does state to half double crochet and four stitches. Um, so here we are, four stitches. This is like the chest of the dog, the bottom side. And it looks like according to round 24, we're gonna chain 11. So chain 11 here. And skip 11 stitches. So chain 11 and then skip 11 stitches. This is creating the right leg hole. So this is the dog's right. Um, so this is how it's going to be worn. This is the underside of the sweater. So half double crochet in the next stitch. So we skipped 11, chained 11, skipped 11, half double crochet in that next stitch. As you can see, it kind of like curls around. But there is the right, the dog's right leg hole. So continue to work the back side. So this is the dog's back, the back of the sweater. And as the pattern states, it says half double crochet and 34 stitches. So continue to work across the back of the sweater for 34 stitches. So once you're finished with those 34 stitches, we're on the other side of the um, bottom of the sweater, working the other leg hole. So chain 11 again, and then skip 11 stitches, and half double crochet in those last four stitches. So sometimes using a stitch marker is easier than trying to keep track with your fingers like I'm doing, but... Um, so those little plastic stitch markers can be helpful here. So we just finished the dog's left leg hole. So um, half double crochet in these last four. So this is kind of like the center chest of the dog sweater right here. Okay, so let's take a peek at what it looks like. So you've got two leg holes. This is the um, chest portion of the dog sweater. All right, and to continue to work round 25 of the size small, chain one and half double crochet around. So that includes crocheting one half double crochet stitch in each of those chain stitches. So to work the dog leg hole.
Okay, so we've came to the end of round 25, join with a slip stitch, and then continue on to uh, round 26. So that is just half double crocheting all the way around. Again, we still have 64 stitches, which is what the whole body of the sweater has been so far. Um, 64 stitches around, just half uh, double crocheting all the way around. Continue to work that. All right, so we are finished with round 26. Go ahead and join with a slip stitch to the first stitch and begin round 27. Chain one, um, half double crochet and six stitches and then half double crochet together, two stitches together. So this is starting to decrease for the neck um, and upper chest of the dog. So half double crochet, two stitches together is where you yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, Yarn over, insert to the hook in the insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through all stitches on the hook. So all loops in the hook. So there you can see right there. Let me try to slow it down for one of those. Um, there's lots of videos on YouTube, but I just want you to see that technique. So let me get to one and I'll slow it down. Okay, so I was able to slow it down and zoom in. So yarn over insert into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook. So that's a decrease stitch. Go ahead and continue working that repeat all the way around. So half double crochet in six stitches and then half double crochet two stitches together for the decrease. At the end of the round, you will have 56 stitches. So continue to work all the way around, making 56 stitches. All right, so we are ready for round 28. So this round, you're just gonna chain one and half double crochet in each stitch around. This will give us 56 stitches. So continue to work half double crochet in each stitch around. All right, now we are on round 29. And for this round, you're gonna chain one and half double crochet in 12 stitches, and then half double crochet two stitches together. So half double crochet in 12 stitches, half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat this all the way around. This will give us 52 stitches. So just a slight decrease here in stitches for that neck um, for your sweater. So continue to do that all the way around for round 29.
All right, so now that we are finished with round 29, we are gonna move on to round 30 where we chain one and half double crochet in each stitch around. This will give us 52 stitches. This is actually repeated for rounds 30, 31, and 32. So rounds 30 through 32, you just um, half double crochet in each stitch around, which gives you 52 stitches. Continue to work that and then I will meet you at round 33. Right, we have finished all the way up to round 32 so this is what it should look like with your chest um this is the underside of the sweater with the leg holes chain one front post half double crochet in this first stitch back post half double crochet in the next stitch you're going to repeat this all the way around front post half double crochet and back post half double crochet all the way around this does give the um neck portion of the sweater and gives it this like little textured feel and nice stretch to it to stretch over your dog's head but also keep it warm around the neck. now that we are finished with round 37 your work should look like this here's your sweater with the um, neck portion scrunched together using your post stitches go ahead and fasten off you can weave in this tail because we are finished with it and then you want to take and join with a slip stitch to the uh, one of the leg holes I'm going to start off with the one facing my left so I'm going to join into this bottom corner of the left leg hole just on the um, bottom portion join with a slip stitch and then I like to use my slip stitch as my chain one so I'm not chaining one I'm just jumping right into a single crochet and then single crochet across the bottom so remember we skipped 11 stitches so this is gonna be 11 single crochet stitches across so continue to single crochet for those 11 stitches that were skipped all the way across. And then once you get to the um, other end, you're going to single crochet in that little corner down there. Single crochet in the half double crochet stitch of that round and then the corner again and then all the way across the top. So see how I did that three single crochet stitches were in the um, on the side there. So 11 across the bottom, 11 across the top, and then three on the side to give the leg hole. You want it to have a little, little bit of stretch and not be too snug. So we're going to continue to work all the way around this leg hole and then repeat on the other side.
All right, so now that we are finished working around the leg holes, we're going to do the um, border across the bottom. So join with a slip stitch to the bottom corner. So I have it flipped upside down. So there we go. To the bottom corner, go ahead and join with a slip stitch. And then again, I don't usually chain one when I slip stitch. I just start to single crochet and that slip stitch acts as your chain one. Go ahead and single crochet all the way across the bottom border. So single crochet and each stitch all the way across. Right, so now that we are finished working all the way across the bottom, we're going to work down the side of these half double crochet stitches. This is the border. So add an extra stitch here to the corner and then work down the side. So we're working over um, the ends of the rows of these half double crochet stitches. So typically, if you think about the width of single crochet stitches, about three of them will equal the height of a half double crochet, of two half double crochet rows. Three single crochet stitches equal the height of two half double crochet rows. So we're putting like basically three stitches over two rows. So I kind of just space that out evenly. This does not make the ends curl or anything like that. It gives it a nice smooth edge. So think about it if there's um, 10 rows you want to do 15 single crochet stitches across those 10 rows to get like the one and a half or the three over two single crochet and each stitch across the bottom so continue to work all the way around the border of this tail area of the bottom of the sweater All right, and continue working up the other side. So like we mentioned earlier, so we're doing three single crochet stitches over two rows of half double crochets. So basically one and a half over every row. So that would equal like 15 stitches up the side here. If those of you I know like um, having a row count, so about 15 stitches up this side here will give you the um, one and a half stitches every row or three stitches over every two rows like I mentioned earlier continue to work all the way up the side and then once you reach the top you want to um, join with a slip stitch fasten off go ahead and weave in all of your ends all right so we are finished with the dog sweater we had made the size small that fits 10 to 18 pound dog it does measure about 15 inches in length and 18 inch width around uses about 200 yards of yarn. I hope you enjoyed this pattern. Um, if you would like to see other sizes, they are available on crochetcreations.com and on Crochet Creations Etsy shop. Thanks for watching.